Hi. In this part of the session, we will look at AZ900, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, Original Practice Tests. There is a high probability to find these questions in the real exam or similar. If you like my video don't forget to press the bell button and subscribe. I will create more helpful videos like this. Thank you. Question 1. What is the basic way of protecting an Azure Virtual Network subnet? 1. Azure Firewall 2. Network Security Group 3. Application Gateway with WAF 4. Azure DDoS Standard Protection The correct answer is Network Security Group Explanation Network Security Group, NSG a fairly basic set of rules that you can apply to both inbound traffic and outbound traffic that lets you specify what sources, destinations, and ports are allowed to travel through from outside the virtual network to inside the virtual network. Question 2. What is the most number of virtual machines that can be managed under a single virtual machine scale set? 1. 1. 2. 1000. 3. 100. 4. 10. The correct answer is 1000. Explanation. Up to 1000 virtual machines can be managed under a single VMSS. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets let you create and manage a group of load balanced VMs. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. Scale sets provide the following key benefits. Easy to create and manage multiple VMs. Provides high availability and application resiliency by distributing VMs across availability zones or fault domains. Allows your application to automatically scale as resource demand changes. Works at large scale. With flexible orchestration. Azure provides a unified experience across the Azure VM ecosystem. Flexible orchestration offers high availability guarantees, up to 1000 VMs, by spreading VMs across fault domains in a region or within an availability zone. This enables you to scale out your application while maintaining fault domain isolation that is essential to run quorum-based or stateful workloads, including quorum-based workloads, open-source databases, stateful applications, services that require high availability and large scale, services that want to mix virtual machine types or leverage spot and on-demand VMs together, existing availability set applications. Question 3. Which Azure service is meant to be a security dashboard that contains all the security and threat protection in one place? 1. Azure Portal Dashboard 2. Azure Security Center 3. Azure Monitor 4. Azure Key Vault The correct answer is Azure Security Center Explanation Azure Security Center Unified Security Management and Threat Protection, a security dashboard inside Azure Portal. Question 4. Logic apps, functions, and service fabric are all examples of what model of compute within Azure? 1. IaaS model. 2. Serverless model. 3. SaaS model. 4. App services model. The correct answer is serverless model. Explanation The serverless model of compute removes all responsibility to selecting or even managing the server and makes Azure responsible for running your code including scaling. Question 5. What types of resources are defined as compute resources? 1. Only virtual machines. 2. Resources that perform some type of task that requires CPU cycle to perform the work. 3. All resources that are listed in the Azure Marketplace. The correct answer is 
resources that perform some type of task that requires CPU cycle to perform the work. Explanation Compute services, a category of services in Azure that provides CPU cycles for rent. Virtual machines are only one type of compute resource. The marketplace contains many types of resources, not just compute. Question 6. An IT administrator has the requirement to control access to a specific app resource using multi-factor authentication. What Azure service satisfies this requirement? 1. Azure Authentication 2. Azure AD 3. Azure Function 4. Azure Authorization The correct answer is Azure AD Explanation. You can use Azure AD to control access to your apps and your app resources, based on your business requirements. In addition, you can use Azure AD to require multi-factor authentication when accessing important organizational resources. Question 7. True or false, there are no service level guarantees, SLA, when a service is in general availability. GA. False. Or true. The correct answer is. False. Explanation. False. Most Azure GA services do have service level agreements. Question 8. True or false. Formal support is not included in private preview mode. True or false. The correct answer is. True. Explanation. True. Preview features are not fully ready and this phase does not include formal support. Question 9. Your organization has implemented an Azure policy that restricts the type of virtual machine instances you can use. How can you create a VM that is blocked by the policy? 1. The only way is to remove the policy. Create the resource and add the policy back. 2. Use an account that has contributor or above permissions to the resource group. 3. Subscription owners, administrators, can create resources regardless of what the policy restricts. The correct answer is. The only way is to remove the policy, create the resource and add the policy back. Explanation. You cannot perform a task that violates policy, so you have to remove the policy in order to perform the task. Question 10. Can you give someone else access to your Azure subscription without giving them your username and password? Yes or no? The correct answer is, yes. Explanation. Yes, anyone can create their own Azure account and you can give them access to your subscription with granular control as to permissions. Question 11. True or false, you cannot have more than one Azure subscription per company. True or false? The correct answer is, false. Explanation. You can have multiple subscriptions, as a way to separate out resources between billing units, business groups, or for any reason you wish. Question 12. What benefit does a content delivery network, CDN, provide its users? 1. Allows you to store data that can be retrieved later in an extremely fast and inexpensive manner. 2. Allows you to keep temporarily session information on the web visitor such as their login ID or their name. 3. Allows you to reduce the traffic coming into a web server for static, unchanging files such as images, videos, and PDFs. 4. For a small fee, Azure will take over management of your virtual machine, perform OS updates and ensure it's running well. The correct answer is. Allows you to reduce the traffic coming into a web server for static, unchanging files such as images, videos and PDFs. Explanation. 
Content Delivery Network allows you to improve performance by removing the burden of serving static, unchanging files from the main server to a network of servers around the globe. A CDN can reduce traffic to a server by 50% or more, which means you can serve more users or serve the same users faster. SAS. Question 13. What feature within Azure will make recommendations to you about reducing cost on your account? 1. Azure Dashboard. 2. Azure Service Health. 3. Azure Advisor. 4. Azure Security Center. The correct answer is Azure Advisor. Explanation. Azure Advisor analyzes your account usage and makes recommendations for you based on its set rules. Question 14. One of the benefits of the cloud is agility. What does that mean in the context of the cloud? 1. The ability of a system to grow its capacity easily when it reaches full capacity. 2. The ability to respond to and drive market change quickly. 3. The ability to recover from a big region-wide failure in a short amount of time. 4. The ability to spin up new resources within minutes. The correct answer is the ability to respond to and drive market change quickly. Explanation Agility, the ability to respond to change rapidly based on changes to market or environment, ensuring fast time to market. Question 15. What is the basic way of protecting an Azure Virtual Network subnet? 1. Azure DDoS Standard Protection 2. Application Gateway with WAF. 3. Azure Firewall. 4. Network Security Group. The correct answer is Network Security Group. Explanation Network Security Group, NSG, a fairly basic set of rules that you can apply to both inbound traffic and outbound traffic that lets you specify what sources destinations, and ports are allowed to travel through from outside the virtual network to inside the virtual network. Question 16. True or false, Azure is a public cloud, and has no private cloud offerings. False or true? The correct answer is, false. Explanation. Some aspects of Azure are not open to the public and require a private agreement with Microsoft such as Azure Government and DoD Services. Question 17. What Azure tool gives you the ability to manage multiple subscriptions into nested hierarchies? 1. Management Groups 2. Azure Active Directory 3. Resource Groups 4. RBAC. The correct answer is Management Groups. Explanation Management Groups, a hierarchy of subscriptions, can have many subscriptions and group them and put those groups into other groups. Question 18 which tool within Azure helps you to track your compliance with various international standards and government laws? 1. Service Trust Portal. 2. Microsoft Privacy Statement. 3. Azure Government Service. 4. Compliance Manager. The correct answer is Compliance Manager. Explanation. Compliance Manager will track your own compliance with various standards and laws. Question 19. What is the main management tool used for managing Azure resources with a graphical user interface? 1. Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP2. Azure Storage Explorer. 3. PowerShell. 4. Azure Portal. The correct answer is Azure Portal Explanation 
Azure Portal is the website used to manage your resources in Azure. Question 20. Who is responsible for the security of the physical servers in an Azure data center? 1. Azure is responsible for securing the physical data centers. 2. I am responsible for securing the physical data centers. The correct answer is Azure is responsible for securing the physical data centers. Explanation Azure is responsible for physical security. Azure is composed of a globally distributed data center infrastructure, supporting thousands of online services and spanning more than 100 highly secure facilities worldwide. The infrastructure is designed to bring applications closer to users around the world, preserving data residency, and offering comprehensive compliance and resiliency options for customers. Azure has 58 regions worldwide and is available in 140 countries slash regions. Don't forget, if my videos are useful to you, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.